What up, y'all? This is my last heavy bench of this program. Um, after this program, I'm going to drop the weights significantly, and I'm going to start progressively microloading again, and hopefully it'll get me ready for uh, Worlds in November. So for my main set, I'm doing five sets of triples, starting with 315, and hopefully I'll be able to end up at 345, depending on how I feel. This is 335 right here. And the main goal of my current program that I was on, I just wanted to be able to be really comfortable at 335 at any time of the day, whether I take a shit or bust nuts or any time of the day under any condition, be able to hit 335, and I was able to achieve that with this program, so I'm pretty satisfied. This is 345. Second rep was a grinder. I probably should have put that away, but given everyone was cheering me on, they're like, you could do it. Good thing Jake's ass came and blocked the horrible failure so you guys don't see my embarrassment. So I dropped the weight back down to 325 to finish off my fifth set of triples. And uh, I mean, before this program, I was struggling with 315, so I feel pretty good. After my main set, I usually like to do one or two sets of just pause benching just to get comfortable at the bottom. Get used to bracing really hard, flexing my lats, pushing my belly against my belt, and being really comfortable out of the bottom before, when, as soon as I start lowering the weights towards my stomach or towards my, upper, uh, my lower chest, I would always feel my entire body just cave in. But now with practicing all these five second, six second long pause benches, I'm really strong and comfortable at the bottom. My first accessory is close grip bench. I can't stress this enough. I, I really feel that my increases in bench have been due to doing so much close grip bench. I do four sets of eight and I move up really slowly, maybe like five or 10 pounds every set until I hit like a RPE eight or nine. And I try not to burn myself out here, but all of you guys who aren't doing close grip bench immediately after your bench movements, you're doing yourself a huge disfavor. You can be having your bench shooting up like crazy because out of the hole, I don't think there's anything else that's gonna help your bench like close grip bench. Then I move on to some overhead presses. By this time, I'm tired like a mofo. So I just keep it at like 135, maybe 145. I don't got that Matt Ogus shoulder strength, so. And plus, you're not trying to wear your CNS out on accessory, right? You're just doing some high volume work, getting that hypertrophy action out up in there. So I do four sets of eight of these, remembering to keep my core tight. And every movement that I do after the bench, I try to think and try to figure out how this mimics the actual benching movement. Like, do I use leg drive? How do I squeeze my glutes? How do I arch my back? And I try to practice that so that all of my work after the main set can still apply to my main set. Finally, I finish everything off with some skull crushers. In terms of having a big bench, you can never have strong enough triceps. You just can't. So after that, I was killing some triceps and it looks good for the summer. So I gotta blast my arms up. That's it for this video. Like always, if you like Barbell Brigade apparel, please go to barbellbrigade.com to get your freshest, dopest apparel needs for the gym and on the street. Peace. So everyone always asks me what my pre-workout is, and uh, so I'll decide to show you guys. It's a top secret thing. You can't even get it at GNC, actually, or uh, bodybuilding.com.